We are back with Rebe Rebecca Rensvold and Jake Brown from Butler Machinery here in Fargo. We're going to talk to Jake next. So, Jake, um, first of all, you are a 2016 Think Big graduate. It sounds really special, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so what made you decide to go through this special program um, at Butler? For me, starting out, it was back in when I was an infant almost, but my <laughs> senior year of high school, uh, 2014 it would have been, Rebecca was accompanied by a, another diesel technician and they came into my automotive class. And this day they were pretty much disclosing what a day in the life of a technician is all really about. And here I'm sitting there, I'm thinking that a day in the life of a technician, you're gonna have grease under your fingernails, you're gonna have dirty hair by the end of the day. By the end of this maybe 20, 30 minute session, I learned that it's, it's far from that in all, all actuality. Um, they had disclosed that it's, you're hooking up computers to troubleshoot and solve issues, create resolutions for issues, and being a gentleman who enjoys technology and watching things advance, that is something that I, that I truly enjoyed. And that's what maybe initially had me grasp into the diesel technology career. Okay, so it, it sparked an interest with you for sure. Yeah, definitely. Okay, very cool. So you were 18 when you started this program. Um, it, you know, really it's about going to, going to classes at the same time as getting your hands dirty, exactly. <laughs> so to speak, exactly. but really not. <laughs> yeah, not in actuality. Right. So tell us about that experience starting at, at 18 um, in this program and then and now, you know, on what, it's a two-year program? Yeah, it's a okay. full two-year program. So for me, it's it, when you start the Butler program or the Think Big program as, as we label it, you, you start out, you're in down at the Wapiton College or Lake Area Tech for eight weeks. It's eight weeks on, eight weeks off. And maybe what I mean by that is you're in class for eight weeks solid. You're learning uh, theory. You're going into the classroom. You're testing on different test stands. You're applying your knowledge to different test stands. After that eight weeks revolves, you then subsequently roll into your on-the-job training, which mm -hmm. is at your one of the, our Butler locations. Okay. okay? At that Butler location, you're teed up with a mentor. That mentor's with you every single step of the way to ensure you succeed. They're there to take all that knowledge you learned from those books that you read, from that theory you obtained, and apply that on the job. So it's, it's a great experience. It's nice for all the information that you learn in school to then directly, subsequently apply that and put that knowledge straight to your hands so that you lock in that knowledge and you essentially retain it so much quicker. Oh, absolutely. I agree with you for sure. So um, you, you stayed with that part of the j job for quite a while, but then your c career has really taken off and, and evolved into something different. Tell us how that worked. Yeah, yeah, that's a great point. It, so I started out in 2016 as a shop technician. I was there for approximately four or five months. The opportunity for a field service technician opened up, which was very lucrative. It's something that I always wanted to do. So my career evolved into then a field technician where I ran in the field for about three years, fixing agriculture equipment and taking on as much knowledge as I could. Uh -huh. A couple late nights maybe experiencing that, but at the end of the day, it's, it's, it's all the experiences and all those uh, different maybe things that you're exposed to that create a person in their knowledge bank. Right. So the one thing that I like about Butler, and we're talking a little bit about career advancement here, starting out as a field techni technician, then maybe evolving a bit. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I really enjoy about Butler Machinery is that there are so many roads to Rome. And roads to Rome, Rome I like to think of as almost like a retirement path. Okay. Starting out as a diesel technician doesn't mean that you're a diesel technician your entire career. Right. You could move to an advisor, a manager, store manager, operator, manager or even a product support role so there's there's so many different outlets mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so what what kind of advice would you have um, for high schoolers the one word of advice I could probably give and it's one thing that the Butler program allows you to do is go to school and apply that knowledge right away to ensure that it's something that you truly enjoy but somebody coming fresh into, into any industry I talked to an adult an adult that enjoys the profession uh -huh. or something that they do enjoy, have a lot of passion in it. Right. And to get an on-the-job shadow or go do some on-the-job training just to see if it's something you enjoy. After you find something you enjoy, find uh, an organization such as Butler Machinery, one sure. that isn't just going to help you in the short term, maybe financially or from a stability standpoint, but one that's really going to carry you all the way to retirement. Okay, awesome. I love it. And. Um, 
guys, gals, you name it, anybody can be a part of this. And uh, so we're going to put all your info up on our North Dakota Today Facebook page. That way people can get in touch with you. Otherwise, right quickly, how can they get in touch with you, Rebecca, to, to get in on this program? Yes, uh, you can call uh, any of our locations, 701-298-1708. Uh, we'll get you directly to our corporate office and just ask for someone in recruitment. Our team will be happy to uh, visit with you a little bit about opportunities. Otherwise, our website, our careers page, uh, has a ton of different information. It's www.butlermachinery.com okay. uh, backslash careers if you want to go directly to apply. Awesome. Thank you so very much to Thanks, both of you. Heidi. Yeah, Thanks, you Heidi. bet. Coming up on today's show, we are checking out a new Scandinavian-inspired cafe that has popped up in Lakes Country.